everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing the Village Bakery. So here it is, it's from 2003, I got it from eBay, it's used but in great condition with all the pieces and I think it even has some extra bits as well that have been thrown in which is really cool. And I'm going to add this to my high street setup. The reason why I really wanted this is for the stairs at the side because I think that's so cool because I've never seen a shop before that actually has stairs because a lot of the shops can be connected with other shops and houses but you have no way of actually getting upstairs. So I thought it would be really cool to have this with the stairs so when you put a house on top you can actually get up there. And I'm so excited to unbox this because I hadn't really seen it before. And then I found it on eBay and I'm so excited. So I think this is run by the Beagle Dogs. Because I looked it up on the internet. So we've got some pictures on the top. Not that it shows the Beagles on the box. And then we've got some more pictures on the side. And it shows the chef and waitress in there, who I have in my grand hotel. And it shows you can put Bramble Cottage on top, but I have Rose Cottage. So I'm going to put that on top of there. So I think that's the same shape building. And some more pictures. And then on the bottom we have the contents. It's upside down. And it says it's from 2003. So, now let's open it. So we've got some paper pieces. One of them is ripped, which I already knew, but I thought as it's just going to be in the window with bread and cakes on top, you won't really be able to notice it. And that was the only issue with this whole set. In here, it looks like we've got all our pieces and baked goods. Wow, and here are the stairs. Wow, they're bigger than I thought they'd be. And we've got a little menu here of all the different bread. Wow, I love it. And the steps actually look really good because they look like they're deep enough that a Sylvanian could easily stand on them without falling down because they look big enough for them to put their feet on, which is really good. I've got this little trolley. It's all really well wrapped. This little stand, table. Some fences, some chairs, the oven, and the big display stand. Oh, there's still more. Another little table. I think that's everything down there. Oh, wow. We've got a Collector's Club magazine from May 1999. I didn't know that was going to come with that. That's so cool. That's so special. Because I think I started the e Collectors Club in 2009. So that's the earliest one that I have. But this one is from 1999. Ten years earlier than I joined. That's really special. We'll have a look at that in a bit. And looks in great condition. That's really nice. Bubble wrap. <laughs> Log as well. So here is the main building. I'll show you that better in a minute. And then we've also got a collector's catalog from 2002. That's really special. Oh yay! I'm so happy. So here is the bakery. It's got this floor here, which can go either in front or on the roof and then the stairs that go at the side there like that oh, that's so cool i love it and then we've got all the pieces to unbox as well so here's the inside of the shop and i really love that it's got like real windows that's open that's got glass, that's glass, and then the front window there is. And we've got stickers on the wall, and then the door here. 
I just love the shape of this building. It's just so interesting. So I've taken the roof off for now so we can easily get to the inside to set it up. So here we've got a sink and on the other side it's like shelves. So that's cool. I think that goes in the middle there. Might be easier to put everything on there first. And in here we have some fences. Oh, I know where they go. That's for here. Like that. And we have some more fences in here. I love how well wrapped it all is. And then another little table. Wow, here's the oven. That's really cool. And it says bakery on the doors. Wow, I love that. And the gold on there looks so fancy. So here we have a bench, which just has pen marks on the bottom, but is fine on the top. And then we've got two chairs. All the pieces in here, so I'll open that in a minute. And then these paper bits, which I think go in the window. So we have this big bit here, which I think goes... And then this bit that goes up. Perfect fit. Oh yeah, that's the bit that's got the rip, but you don't really notice that. I'm guessing that goes on there. I'm not actually looking at the pictures, I am just guessing. And we've got three more. I'm not sure where they go yet, have to look up on the pictures. I think these last little ones are to use as placemats or napkins. Here we have the table and the cart. And that's already got the paper bits in there. And this little stand as well. And now it's time to get out all of the pieces. So we've got the cups and drinks in there. And this is tray, milk and fruit juice. So it's also got like groceries in this as well. So it's a really good shop. And then we've got some baked goods in here. I think the croissants might be extra, that they weren't supposed to come with it. Let me just look on the box. Yeah, I think they are extra. I think maybe everything in this bag is extra. I think this is to go on the trolley. I believe some boxes in here. The till. Oh, the signs in here. I'll get them out. So that's the big sign on the top and another sign which goes above the window oh, on this side we've got a little takeout window sign with a bit of string to hang it up some more little bits in here I think these are the donuts and treats that should come with it and the other ones might have been extra, but I've only had a quick look at the contents. Whoa, lots of big cakes and bread in here. Oh, I love that. A little sweets. I wonder if that's extra, because I can't see this on the box. Yeah, this is extra. I think this might be Tommy, because I've seen a photo of that on eBay, just as a little set by itself. That's really cool, I love that. Loads of tins in here. Wow, I'm so excited by all of these pieces. And some trays. I think the silver trays are extra. And that is everything. Wow, we have so much.
So I've now finished setting it all up and I love it, it looks so cool. So the extra bits is this little shelf with jars of sweets. And then we have uh, three of those. I think they might be cheese scones, possibly. And then also the three croissants down there. We have another three that I've put up here. They were all extras. And also, I think the cover for the trolley is an extra as well. But it does fit perfectly, but I can't see it on the box. And also the margarine on that little dish there, that is also extra. So now I'm going to set it up with a house on top. It looks so cool. I love it so much. I think it might be one of my favourite buildings. I just love that you can set it up in different ways with this extra bit here that you can have it in front or in top. And I just love that you can actually go up the stairs to get to the house because normally it's just a house stacked on top of the shop and there's no way of actually getting upstairs. And I just love with this that you can get up the stairs and you can actually get to the house. And I love the windows which actually have glass in them or are plastic that looks like glass. It's so cool. I love all the details and all the pieces inside. I love it. So now I'll quickly show you the catalogue and the magazine. So here we have the catalogue from 2002 and this was when Sylvanian families had been going for 15 years in the UK. So let's see what sets were around at the time. So we have the Grand Mansion, then the Pandas and the Dalmatians. I have both of the families. I love that there's games in here as well, I spot the difference. And then the otters and the macavity cats, I have those. The canal boat, I have a different colour canal boat. Lakeside Lodge, but I have Larchwood Lodge, which is very similar, just got a different colour roof. Camping set and accessories, patio and barbecue set, I love the colours in that. The Cottage Hospital, The Doctor, The Fox Family, The Snow Warrens, I have them. The Post Office, I actually got that recently. Oh, it's colouring in, that's cool. And then we have some sets. Oliver's First Bicycle, Antonia's Picnic Set. The frog family, I have to say, I'm not a fan of them. It's just their eyes, they think, I think they look a bit creepy. They're the only Sylvanian family I don't like. Ah, oh, the mice, koalas. Oh, but the koalas have, just have babies. They don't have the children. I have the koalas with the children and I have the twins as well. We've got the bus. Oh, House on the Hill. I do still want that just because it's so big and so many different rooms. It'd be really fun to set up. Orchard Cottage, which is very similar to Rose Cottage, which I have here. The Old Mill. St. Francis School House and Library. The School Band. Professor Butterglove. Endeavour's first day in class, Beverly goes to school. Oh, I love the school uniform. And the school toilets, I have those. And then we've got 
some furniture sets. Oh, I love that bedroom. That's really nice. I love that. I love the colours. That's so cool. Country bedroom set. I'm going to have to look for that because I love it. And then nursery on the back. I think some pages are missing, but still, it's a really lovely catalogue. I'll quickly show you the club magazine. So this is from May 1999. So we have the story. It was always better when the shop ran the collector's club because the stories were longer. I think when Epoch ran the club, it was more aimed at younger children so I had a shorter story and we have how to make papooses and then it's like another story and then Photos of people's collections. Wow, so many vintage items. These are probably all people that have grown up now and they're selling them for lots of money. And then we have the green car, only £7.55. That's good. And then there was a competition as well with the bakery squares here. So you've got to make the bakery. But I've just realised on that picture it does show the glass cover for the trolley. So maybe it does come within, it just wasn't pictured on the box. And it shows the beagles in there as well. So that's really nice. These are really good to add to my collection as well. And it's a nice surprise as I didn't know that it was going to come with them. I'm so happy with this. It just makes me so happy. I love it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.